we're going to look at flint and steel. We're very lucky that we can get steel quite readily in this day and age. And this is tempered steel. It's been hardened. And when I strike it against flint, let's get a sharp edge, we get sparks coming off it. Ancient man didn't have steel. What he used was iron pyrites. Iron pyrites is found, luckily, where you find flint. So the two come together. Now these produce sparks, but they are very, very few and far between and cold, and we need to capture them. And he realized that by using different fungus, such as the horse's hoof fungus here, and the King Alfred cake here, he could put a spark onto them and get that tiny spark to catch and then be able to move on to the next stage. So what I'm going to do is show you how he used the iron pyrites and flint on a bit of prepared horse hoof fungus and see if we can get an ember onto this. First I need my baseboard and that basically protects me from the cold ground and damp ground and using a blade of flint I'm just going to scrape up some of this horse's hoof fungus and make it nice and fluffy. Takes a bit of time but the golden rule about fire prep is to take your time. I've got my tinder there. I'm going to use my iron pyrites and I'll use that piece of flint, my sharp edge and this is where it takes a lot of time where I've got to get one spark to go from here and land on there and hopefully it will catch. So bear with me. There we go. And here is our tiny ember just glowing away nicely. Now we'll just give that a little bit of air. And get that going. So that's our first stage. Now, how do we convert this into fire? And what we need, as I've prepared it already, is what we call a tinder bundle. And this is made from the inner bark of this tree, which is American red cedar. And I've fluffed it up and ripped it up. So I've got some very, very fine um, tinder here and then some coarser stuff. And what I've got to do is lift that put it into here and then gently blow it into flames. And I can cheat as well. Mother Nature helps me a lot. I could just carry on with this fungus or I can add a little bit of King Alfred's cake, which we call an ember extender. Just by putting the two together, I can get this glowing. But we'll just go with this at the moment. And there we have fire. I'd just like to say that all of these techniques can be dangerous and you should not do these at home. If you want to learn more, go along to a reputable bushcraft company or a survival school where they will be able to teach you all the knowledge that you need how to light fires safely, being considerate about the environment and leaving a minimal impact out in the woods so that we can come back and enjoy it again and again.